Joe Tulio, for NJ Sports Now on this Thursday, May the 21st. And for the New York Giants, awful news came down on Wednesday afternoon. Will Bade, the starting left tackle, been with the Giants since 2009, given a contract extension a few years ago. Someone that's not a great player, but certainly a good left tackle, and one that had a pretty good season last year for the Giants. One of the more higher-rated left tackles in the game by outlets like Pro Football Focus, Beatty was a constant on the Giants' offensive line that they have tried to rebuild here over the last few years, and now he is gone. A torn pectoral muscle out five, six months. It's going to be a while. You won't see him in the summer. You won't see him at training camp, the preseason, nor the beginning of the season. So for the Giants' perspective, they have to get ready for the 2015 season with a new left tackle. And this just adds more, adds really more questions to what the Giants are going to do on their offensive line, how they're going to make the pieces fit together here, and how they're going to put the best line possible now in front of Eli Manning. Pro Football Focus, one of my favorite websites when it comes to rating football players on an individual basis, and then within the context of the team and the game, they break it down by the numbers. It is really a great resource. They came out with a study on Thursday morning, ironically, as the Beatty News came down, about quarterbacks last year and how they fared under pressure. Eli Manning, without pressure, the ninth best quarterback in the National Football League last year. Under pressure, he was dead last. Think back to two years ago when the offensive line and Beatty himself was a disaster. Think back to last year, 2014 season, in the beginning of the year, those first couple games, as the offensive line was trying to get its feet under itself, learning a new offense. They really struggled on that Monday night game against the Lions. They really struggled against the Arizona Cardinals. Couldn't protect Eli, and it was ugly. Then as the offensive line gelled a little bit, got a little bit better, Eli played better. That's what you have to think about now heading into this season, and it puts a lot of pressure on Pat Flaherty, the offensive line coach. It puts a lot of pressure on Ben McAdoo, the offensive coordinator, to devise quick throws to get the football out of Eli Manning's hands without the pressure in his face. It puts a lot of pressure on the Giants' offensive linemen that are healthy right now. I think the Giants' offensive line has gone from intriguing, still a question mark, to a huge concern right now. Without Beatty out there, now you have to rely on a kid like Eric Flowers. I mean, forget the learning curve here for the number nine overall pick. Forget maybe playing just right tackle or learning guard. He may be in the mix here from the opening game to start at left tackle in the National Football League. That is a very big jump. If it's not him, kid Justin Pugh, who struggled last year on the right side, really make it all the way around to left. Now you need certainty. You need health from Jeff Schwartz. So many questions now unanswered and so much pressure for everyone on this Giants offense to get this right and to keep Eli upright until, for the Giants, hopefully, Beatty returns and can take his place back at left tackle. But if, if you were hoping for this line to suddenly come together quickly, suddenly gel, and from week one through week 17 in 2015 being a force, that idea was completely interrupted. That idea was completely thrown out by this injury to Beatty, and now the Giants' offensive line, which we didn't know how it was going to look to begin with. Now you really don't know what you're going to get, and the Giants here have their first big challenge of 2015. It came down a couple months before training camp even starts. I'm Joe Giglio for NJ Sports.